I am welcoming you to this watercolor painting tutorial of Cull Lily. <laughs> An outline drawing is done which is available for download and now with an elastic eraser I am removing the excess amount of graphite off the paper. I am taking tape for applying at the very bottom part of this calla lily stem so that at the finishing I will have a neat clean edge. Now to color mixing. Awakening watercolors with water. Adding water to palette. And I'm using watercolor set of my own watercolor art kit. Taking lemon yellow and sap green for the green parts of Kala Lily, stem and middle part, and a little touch of ultramarine blue. Permanent rose, manganese violet, and a little touch of perlin violet. I have a color for the pink, reddish, violetish part of this color lily. Third mix is transparent yellow with a little touch of perlin violet. have my paper towel ready. I'm taking bigger synthetic brush and applying water to the middle part of the Scala Lily. It goes from the very up to the very bottom part where the stem ends. So this is like a one whole flow and this part is in green color, the green mix which we already have lemon yellow and sap green. As you can see water is, is just enough that the surface is, has little shine and it's not dripping away from the paper surface. So don't add too much water to your paper. And on the first layers I go really transparent. I'm just establishing my tones, colors, where all is placed and where all will be, darks and lights, really go transparent just to be sure that you are going in the right direction, that your color mixes are right. You always can go darker and we will go darker with layers, but to achieve richness and fullness and realistic look, I'm doing with layers, with transparent layers. I'm applying color mix and also that I have this uh, wider round synthetic brush I'm smoothing the applied layer also at the same time. Now going further I'm applying water to the left side of this color lily Also water is just enough so that watercolors can be moved freely but they are not flowing on the surface. If it will be too much water then there will be marks left on the edges which we don't need. And taking my second mix of permanent rose, manganese violet 
and perlin violet. Also painting really transparent, thin layers, really diluted with the water. Adding also transparent yellow mix. As we can see in the left side upper part of this flower, there are more darker and deeper yellow tone. the surface is still wet I can add more but still I'm painting really thin
permanent rows to those areas which look really pink and shiny and now I'm finishing this tutorial hope you learned something you new and you enjoyed this painting of color lily I really did and thank you for watching and see you in my next tutorials bye bye